No, guys, we're here, guys. Hindi naman na yung tito-tita ni ano. LJ. Ah. Hindi na nga nakatigil si Andrea Brillantes na basagin ang katahimikan niya simula ng iturong dahilan ng iwalay ang Daniel Padilla at Catherine Bernard. Sa mga kumakalat na balita, lalong dumadami ang bashers ni Andrea at talagang sinisisi kung bakit wala na ngayon ang kanina. Matatandaang noon pa lamang ay talagang patay na patay si Andrea kay Daniel. Marami rin beses na nasabi nito ang pangalan ni Daniel at sa isang blind item pa nga na may nangyari ng kabataan nila ay si Daniel at Andrea ang tinuturo dito. Hindi mapigilan ng Katniel fans ang mainis at sumabog sa dalit dahil sa matagal na panahon ay pinangangalagaan nila ito. Ang iba ay lumaking kilala ang Katniel na nagpakilig sa kanila at naniwalang sila ang magkakatuluyan. Walang nakikitang red flag ang mga kababaihan kay Daniel sa paglipas ng panahon at maraming gustong-gustong makahanap ng lalaking kapareho ni Daniel ang katangian. Kaya naman, talagang nagulantang ang lahat ng lumabas ang balitang nakikita na nampalihin si Andrea at Daniel sa kondo at di umano'y may nangyayari. Ayon kay Andrea, ayaw niya muna magbanggit ng diretsong sagot at ayaw niya rin magbanggit ng pangalan pero may iniwang siyang mga clue kung bakit nangyari ang mga ito pakinggang maigi ang mga clue ng dalaga at ang pagbanggit nito ng kruwer. Hi po sa inyo lahat. Hi sa lahat na nanonood. Ayun po lang. Oh! Nasa date out sa mga pag-text. Okay, so hello po sa inyo lahat. So, nasa 16K viewers po tayo. Hi CJ! Hi Bea! Hello po! So, hi po sa lahat na nanonood. First time ko lang itong gagawin. My first time. I hope this will be the last. So, first, I would like to say thank you, Hayes at Pedelin, for speaking up. Thank you, Ali, dahil kahit hanggang ngayon hindi mo pa din ako pinagayaan. Alam ko na these past few months ay napakahirap para sa atin, para sa atin talaga at para sa atin lahat. And I have mad respect for you dahil kinaya mo pa rin ako ipagtanggol. Kahit alam ko na gustong gusto mo nang ipagsalita. And actually, sa lahat ko na nandito ngayon na nanonood at nakikinig, pinili ko na lang po talaga sana na nahihirap lahat ng mga dinapatong salita sa akin ng lahat ng tao. Pero kasi, here I am at my happiest moment at madami pa din po matatamay at nababalik ang mga pangalan kahit hindi naman ako dapat. At mas lalo pa kung dumadami yung mga fake news. Hindi ko na po pahahabain pa. Kaya here is my side of the truth and I hope you would all listen or at least give me a chance to explain. Grabe, nasa 80K na tayo. Okay, my hands are shaking. Hinanda ko na yung mga babasahin ko para doon nakakalit. I would like to address each issue one by one, so please bear with me. I'm gonna start off with... We broke up last year, early October yun. And it was a painful breakup but it was a mutual decision na paghiwalay namin. We both loved each other truly and deeply. We've learned so much from each other but in the end, we realized na we weren't growing lahat ng fake news at pag-a-assume nyo sa nangyari sa relasyon namin, hindi ito totoo. We ended on good terms. At yun naman ang importante. Napag-usapan din namin, we promised each other na magpapatuloy pa rin kami sa work namin. Because we we love each other as friends and we also like the company of each other as actors. At gusto namin matupad yung pinag-usapan namin 2 years ago tungkol sa mga pangarap namin. Yun lang ho, hindi na magbibigay ng chat ibang detail. Basta nire-respeto kasi sa Pilipinas, nire-respeto ko yung love life namin. At mahal na mahal yun namin yung lahat sa amin. Second, I admit I made an honest mistake and I was showing my emotions online to public. Yeah, this is why you should always think before doing something. At naaminan ko, my mind was too clouded with sorrow that I forgot to think about what will happen next or how this could affect me and people around me. I had no contact with them when I saw the picture. So I made a TikTok which made everything worse. I know that I should have asked first. I should have consulted my managers before posting it. 
course, sana na nahimik na lang talaga ako. Pero sana man lang guys, once, naisip niya na tao lang din ako. And it was my first heartbreak, so hindi ko talaga alam kung paano siya i-handle. But I couldn't blame you guys, kasi never naman kami nag-out sa relationship namin. Kaya kahit masakit na sinasabi ng mga tao na wala akong karapatan, kasi never naman naging kami masakit, kasi actually naging kami. Naging kami for two years and three months. Kaya nga, I used that song because the lyrics in that song was the most accurate and most relevant lyrics to what I was feeling at the time. Wala din naman ako sinisisip. I never meant to pull anyone down. Ayaw ko manira ng tao. Nagulat lang din talaga ako and I was just really hurt kasi kaibigan ko pa yung kasama. Pero I had no bad intentions. Hindi ko lang talaga naisip because I was acting based on my emotions. I tried to call so many times to have an explanation, makakuha ng sagot, but no one answered. And no matter naman ang sumagot, it was too late. It was too late for me to take it all back. It was too late for me to post, uh, to delete the video that I posted. Kaya, guys, please take this lesson from me. Learn to reflect, to pause, and to breathe when everything is falling out of place. Para sa akin naman kasi, basta kapag masyado na puno yung emosyon mo, please, pause ka muna. Don't do anything foolish. Don't do anything without knowing the whole truth. Pero para sa akin naman, it is never foolish to post your emotions online. Because sadness is a natural and a valid feeling for a human being to feel. Pero kasi since we live in our generation where everything you do and say can be used against you in a negative way, you should always be cautious with your actions. Kasi whether you had good intentions, it won't matter na once it's out sa public. Because people will always test everything. Third, after posting the TikTok, ang dami ng kumalat na fake news. Wala pong totoo dun. Hindi po ako nagloko. Hindi ko din jowa yung mga pinagkalat nyo na kasama kong lalaki sa pictures. At pinaka-importante sa lahat, hindi ko ako nanugod sa dressing room. Hindi ko talaga. I also don't know where people got that. Ang alam ko lang parang may isang dummy account na nag-tweet. And it's funny because naniwala naman agad lahat sila kahit it was just words. Pero kasi meron ding entertainment reporter, may public figure na sinabi yun sa vlog niya, which made the alleged rumor more credible for people to believe. Uh, I was mad. I was mad furious and I wanted to file a case sa mga tao nagpakalat nun. And in every lie that was thrown at me without any concrete proof. I was mad and broken because everyone was accusing me for something that I didn't do. Guys, let's be real. Kung totoo naman yun, sana kumalat na. Pero walang kumalat na video. There are CCTVs in every corner of ABS-CBN. And I actually asked for a footage para lang may mapakita ako sa mga tao na hindi ko ito ginawa. Nandito ko sa elevator, bumalik ako sa dressing room. I didn't do that. Pero matagal na yun. And hindi ko na tinuloy kasi pinaon ko na sa limot yun. Kasi alam ko yung katotohanan. Alam ng Diyos yung totoo. So, kinalimutan ko na lang yung time is gone. I wanted to speak out months ago pa. It was the worst two weeks of my life. I wanted to know, I wanted to let everyone know what really happened. Because I'm so tired of taking all the blame for something that I didn't do. I'm so tired of people. And by the way guys, yes, may binabasa talaga ako kasi ay, ay, ayoko may maiwan na detail. I'm so tired of taking all the blame for something that I didn't do. I'm so tired of people portraying me <coughs> as the bad guy based only on alleged rumors that has no truth. Pero kasi I found my peace. And I decided to forgive and to forget. I decided to work harder na lang and let my actions speak for myself. I've been through worse. Ano pa naman to, di ba? I also realized that why should I prove myself if everything I do or say will not be enough for people to believe. Kasi naisip ko, only uneducated people 
listens to silly rumors. So I teach them. Kasi kahit ano naman gawin ko, hindi nila maunawaan. Kaya I moved on. So the reason why I did this now is for people to move on na din. I didn't do this to create another issue. I didn't do this to create another problem. To be called a victim. Or to be called problematic. I'm doing this for closure. I'm not asking you to believe in me. Kasi, this is for everyone. Closure for me, closure for my fans, closure to their fans. Hindi nyo kailangan maniwala. You can do whatever you want with my statement. Pero ito na yun. I'm happy na I did my part. And I own up to it. Alam ko naman mas madali paniwalaan ang chismis kisa sa katotohanan. Kaya nga mas madali na Pero the truth isn't easy to accept, but it will set you free. Masaya ng puso ko ngayon, at ipagdadasal ko na sana matutunan na din nating lahat na maging masaya para sa iba. And since we also have 156,000 viewers, I will take this opportunity to say na sana pagtuunan na lang natin ang pansin ang mas importanteng bagay, malapit na ho ang eleksyon. So please, vote wisely. Tama na po ang away. That's all love. I love you all so much. Thank you sa lahat na naniwala sa akin at hindi naniwala agad. And sa mga naniniwala pa rin, I'm just happy na nalabas ko na lang. Love you all so much. Bye!